last week I talked about the aging wars and this week I'm talking about the menopause wars because women also talk crap about each other as to how we decide to deal with menopause. My whole life I had my peers were easy, I didn't have any major problems, everything, eh, I mean pregnancies, all that was pretty easy. I'm a pretty tough woman. I've had kidney stones and I deal with pain pretty well, discomfort too. One of my pregnancies, the epidural practically could not kick in because my kid was born super fast. So I know what pain's like, I know discomfort. I, but for me, menopause hit me like, oh, it was, it was bad. It was bad from one day to the next too. It was all the bad symptoms that I've ever heard about from the hot flashes. And I'm not talking about one hot flash here or there. It was constant. And I have a history, which I have explained in other videos of mental health, uh, depression, anxiety. Well, the hot flash situation triggered all those again in a bigger way than I had ever experienced them. Mood swings and creepy crawly skin lack of concentration, extreme fatigue, all everything that you have ever read in a textbook that can happen to you. Oh, vertigo, dizziness. I mean, everything. I had it. I went to the doctor and she recommended based on my health history, based on the fact that I don't have a history of cancer and a ton of other stuff that I was a really good candidate for hormone replacement treatment. I did my research. I thought about it. I asked my questions. I started taking HRT and my symptoms were gone from one day to the next. It was, I mean, well, maybe not that fast, but it was pretty fast. And I was able to function again, I was able to sleep at night. I was able to work. I was able to take my kids to school. I was, a, I was able to be okay around my husband. I mean, not, not being a, a mean woman. So that for me was, it was the best choice that I could make. And that was almost four years ago. And I'm still taking the hormones. They're still helping me. But here's the thing that whenever I bring up the subject of menopause or it comes up in conversation or publicly in a forum or something like that, women have not all women, of course, but some women have this thing of, well, have you, that's, that's the worst thing you could do is take HRT. You should try this natural medicine. You should try that. Well, if you keep yourself busy, the symptoms will go away, tough it out and all that. And I'm thinking, why, why, why? I mean, if, if, if natural remedies are working for you, if you want to tough it out, if you don't have any symptoms, well, good for you. But for my case, this is what I'm doing and that's that. I don't think there, I mean, I didn't even ask, I, I don't even ask for an opinion, so I don't really want it. It's working for me. I've even advocated for natural remedies for menopause because I believe they work for some people, but they are not the right choice for everybody. So there, there you go. There's the menopause wars. It also goes the other way too. If I could be a person saying, well, since I take HRT and I'm doing so well, well, so should you, but I don't, I really think that it is a, again, a very, and I say again, because last week we were talking about aging and this week it's about menopause. We should all do you know, be informed, be informed about menopause, about your menopause. Your menopause is yours. It belongs to you. Own it. There is nothing more empowering to me anyway than owning my symptoms and saying, this is how I want to deal with them because I have things to do. I have books to write. Why not let every woman own her own menopause and manage it the way that she sees fit. Don't let anybody make you feel bad for taking HRT, for not taking HRT, for having symptoms, for not having them. I invite you to own your menopause and share in the comments 
how, what you think. Do you think it's okay to freely comment on how other people deal with their menopause? Wouldn't it be much better to just share information and support each other and open up the floor to conversation instead of criticism on something as simple and normal and part of life as menopause. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, then check out the other videos I have and maybe one of them will make you want to subscribe to my channel.